hi there once again welcome to my channel i'm delighted to have you back on this channel consider subscribing if you are new to this channel don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial in today's lesson we're going to learn how to create this amazing registration form using html and then bootstrap okay i've already explained what the boost what bootstrap is and then in my previous video we learned how to create this amazing login form i'm also going to show you how to link this to your database and connect them so we're going to look at how to connect this to the database but in this video we're going to learn how to create this registration form and then in my next video we're going to create our database and we can connect this to the database and we can start registering people onto our database so we're going to do all that right here on this channel so you don't need to miss that video so you need to stay alert turn on the notification bell and stay alert for that so let's see how we can create this amazing registration form using bootstrap and then what html so this is the code that achieved that particular result for me this is the code we're going to rewrite this code and i'm going to show you how to go about it everything line by line so we use a bootstrap and in my previous video i showed you how to download and then use bootstrap if you are yet to do that then i'll leave a link at the description so that you see how to download bootstrap and connect it so this is our working folder the folder name is what rec app and then i have my css and i've already placed the bootstrap and then within the css folder so we're going to use this bootstrap for our project and these are the three files i have within this file and i've opened this within my most effective text editor that's vs code editor and have these files over here so this is basically what we have at this stage but for the sake of this video i'm going to recreate this and then take everything line by line and explain to you so we have to create a new file over here so we're going to go to file and we're going to type rec.html okay so there's a new file we're going to start everything from scratch line by line and i will create this at the end of the day we're going to create this amazing registration form okay so we first need to display our html templates so we're going to use html5 template and like i said in my previous video when you pressed shift and then the one key on your keyboard that's the numeric key it's going to give you this exclamation sign just hit the tab key and it's basically going to give you something to start working with that's the template for html so we're going to give it a title and in this case we are building a registration form so let's say registration okay so that is it and we first need to link our css within the header that's the bootstrap in this case we have a bootstrap file within the css we have to link that within our header so just go down here and type link and then we're going to use link that's css and then we have to target that to realize that our file our bootstrap is in the css folder so we first have to type css slash and automatically it's going to detect it's going to detect the content the content of the css that's the bootstrap so we just select that and then we are good to go we've successfully linked our bootstrap to the header of this particular project so we just can go ahead and then the first thing i'm going to do is that to create a container to hold everything we're going to do so we're going to organize everything within the container so i'm going to say div so that's the division and i'm going to give it a class a bootstrap class called container so that is it and now we're going to create a rule you can create several rules within your container but we're just going to use one rule for this you can use a panel to create this registration form but i'm going to use a card to do that and i'm going to show you how to do that as well so let's say div and in this case let's create what a rule so let's say class rule okay so within our rule that is where we're going to deal with everything step by step so we first create a class we create, we're going to create another div and then this one we call it what a uh, card so let's say card class card okay so within this card we're going to do everything that we want to do so first thing our card need to have a header so i'm going to say div so i'm going to give a class header so it's going to be card header so just remember that okay so within our header we're going to put in h2 header type and let's say registration form okay so that is it and 
we can start checking what we've done so we can go back and then reload so this is what i created that's the reg so we can see already you can see this displayed within our browser we have registration form actually display at the header so we're going to start customization and start doing some few changes to this we want to actually give a size for this card it's great our card and then we have our header as you can see we have the registration form and then we're going to go ahead and then also get the body of our card so after getting the card we'll go ahead the header we'll go ahead and create another one division so let's say div and then we'll give a class card body class card body so within the body of the card that is where so within the body of the card that is where we're going to have the content of our form so you go ahead and say form action no action for now and i'll show you what we'll do with the action when we start connecting to the database we'll look at how to go with the action what we're going to put within this so we're going to create our first label and we're going to put everything within a bootstrap class called form group so we're going to say let's create another div create another div and we're going to give it a class class form what group form group this way and then we need this we're going to start creating our labels if you look at our final projects the final projects here we have the registration form then we have the name so everything is organized within a bootstrap property called form group so we're going to have our label so we're going to say label for so the first name is going to, the first one is going to be first name and then we have what the name here first what name okay so once we have that first name we can load and see what we've done let's go back to the main project so you can see we have the name over here and then we can go ahead and then also add what our form so let's say import just use the input keyword this way and then we're going to accept the text and then we're going to give a class as well a bootstrap class we will call it form control so we are accepting a username over here which is going to be a text that's the first name of the person so we're going to have this we reload this we should be having what our login the username the text over here we can make this thing look more attractive when you click on even the name it will make the text box active so we can use an id to do that so we can just go ahead and say within the label we have the first name so we can just add an id over here within the input and call it the first name give the same name as the label and this will make it more even interactive so when you click on the label it will make what the text box active so we actually created our first label we're just going to put some break after this we'll put some break and then we just have to copy this once one more time just Control c copy or Control d to duplicate so this one is going to be what a last name so this is going to be what last name so we're going to have last name and then also here we're going to have what last name remember to subscribe so you don't miss my video tutorial that i'll be doing right here on this channel and over here the id is going to be last name last name and every other thing is going to be the same let's reload this and see so you can see we now have what we now have our last we, have, we now have last name and then we have what first name so our form is actually taking shape we just have to shape our header a bit if you look at our final project we have some green background and then the form place within the middle so in order to do that we can just target the header that is the card head header so we're just going to say text white and then we can say bg means background we we'll use success okay so that success will give you that kind of green background so you can see we have this background and then we have to align our text in the middle in order to do that we'll say text center so we use that bootstrap class called text okay text center this way and then it's going to align everything 
in the center so that is amazing up to this stage and we just want to move everything to the middle then we continue with the rest of our design in order to do that we have to target we have to give our container a vertical height of 100 percent and then give our row a height of 100 okay and then what we need to do add another property called justify content center to our our row so we go ahead and load this okay you can see now we can have a full width for this everything is in the center now we can actually make the width of this card we can change the width to 50% here and we can also set the margin top and bottom to auto okay we can do something this way and we can reload this and see okay you can see now everything is center within the middle of our page that is amazing and and that is actually what we want to achieve we're just going to give a shadow to our card and then we can proceed from there so we we'll target our card that's the card of the entire work so this is the card we we'll call we we'll go and say shadow and then we'll give a padding of three all around it we just have to reload this and you can see there's a shadow around this so we can go ahead and then continue with the other part of our project so now we don't need the username you know the gender and every other thing then we go ahead to do it so we're going to go ahead and see we now need a username so we just have to copy this again it's basically the same thing Control d to duplicate if you're using vlc code editor you can get amazing shortcut to use so this time around, we're going to say username and here we're going to have username and we change everything to what username okay so that is that we can go ahead and then load this that's our main project here so now also now we have the username as well everything is perfect okay everything is perfect up to this stage we have everything set up up to this stage the next thing we need to do is to add our email if it's up to this stage we, we are going to add the email as well so in order to do that we'll go back to our code and then we can still duplicate this and just select everything and then Control d to duplicate and then we have to change this instead of username is going to be what email And then over here, we're going to have what? Email. Okay. And then finally, we have to change. We have a new property in HTML5 where instead of text, we can say email. And this is going to work just perfectly. Okay. And then ID is going to be email as well. Okay. And we'll go back and reload this. So you can see we now have what email as well but basically in a system development once you create email you want to make sure the input the person enters is right so we just have to make sure we confirm the email as well okay so that is very important part of this system once you want to create a system you can add for confirmation of email you can also add for confirmation of a password okay but i'm actually going to skip this for this video but just take note of that it's very important you ask for confirmation of email and then the password okay so i'm going to leave the email confirmation out and then i'll proceed and do gender so we're going to have female and then a male so you can see from our project here we have the male and the female section for the registration form so that's the next thing we're going to do so we can just go ahead and just duplicate this form group again and just paste it down here and then for the label we're going to change the label to gender so this place is going to be gender okay so this is going to be gender and then down here we can just clear all this and we can decide to organize everything into a div again so in this case i'm going to say label so the first label is going to be for male and then over here i'll put in input i'll create an input within the label so this input is going to be radio okay so within this we can just 
load our page and see if indeed this is going to reflect okay so this is our main work our main project so you can see we now have what gender over here and then this is the radio button we just need to go ahead and then assign our first person that is our first gender that is what a male and we can just duplicate this again Control D to duplicate and then I'll change this to what female I'll change this to what female and then go back and then load my page so you can see it's not looking better up to this stage we can go ahead and add some margin around this and then we can space everything if we decide to move it to the next line we can also do that as well so my input over i can just give it a class I can just give a class class and then i will say margin i give a margin of let's say two around both okay so we just have to go ahead and then reload this and see so you can see it's not looking better there's enough space around the the gender now we can just check and then we can go ahead so the last thing we're going to do is to get our password section for our registration form so we're going to get a password a confirmation of the password as well so we go back here we can copy any of the groups again we can actually copy this we can copy this and then paste it below this and then we can just go ahead and then change this to what password so we need to have the first password and the confirmation of the password so we're going to have here password okay so over here we have to put password here and then we have id here we'll change it to what password and then we have to get a confirmation of our password so we can load this and see if this is going to appear so you can see we have our password now and we actually need to do some add some properties to it so we're going to have okay so we left the quotation over there and we can load this and see so okay so this is looking better now and we can get a confirmation of our password so i'll just go back here and then just duplicate everything and this one wrong, i'm going to say c password and here i'll say confirm password confirm password and here i'll also leave it as password the label everything the id i'll just leave it as c password and leave every other thing as it is so when we load this page we now have our second password now there is a confirmation of our password so now we are almost done with this form and the last thing we need to is to have our button so that's the submit button we need to have that one down here so in order to do that we're just going to actually we've already copied the form group but we can just create another form group here come down here and say div and then we'll say class so we'll give a class to this so this is also going to be form group and within this we're going to type input we're going to put an input here and then the input is going to be actually submit okay this is going to submit we, we will not add any id and name for now so we just go ahead and then say the value is going to be submit submit and we'll give a class give a class give a class of we'll give a class of form control so that is what we want to do up to this stage so we have the form control property on this so we'll load this we can see our button is showing down here 
have our button over here, but we just have to do some few changes to that. We have to give a background color as a BG. So we'll give a class of BG success. Okay, so BG success. And let's load this page and see. Okay, so we have this up to this stage. We have our submit button and we have to give okay so the submit is wrong it's supposed to be i supposed to be there we have to load this and you can see it's not looking better our form is not looking better we just have to change this text over here let's submit to make it appear better so you can just give a class you can say text white okay so let's just see Yes, hyphen white okay so that is all we need up to this stage and then everything should be set now so you can see we now have our submit button and everything working so this is how to create the registration form and i'm so glad you watched this video up to this stage in my next video all we need to do is to manage to link this to a database and we can start some registration and we can see how best this is going to work so thank you so much remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial so this is what we've done up to this stage. In my next video, we'll look at how we can create a database and link this to it. Bye-bye.